Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Star Control 2. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and head back to... Uh, oops, I wanted a star map. Let's head back home. Uh, now, we are in Ilrath space, so this could be kind of bad. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're not quite full up, but I suppose we got enough. Uh, I don't think there, there's much on the way home that's worth stopping at. Uh, I suppose I could take a quick peek. Let's see, Theta Giklas. Let's see if there's anything that Pop mentions anything interesting there. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's head home. Alright, so we're going to be skirting the edge of uh, Ilroth space. Hopefully we will be fine. We'll see how it goes. Haha! -ha, missed me! I don't think that the uh, amount of thrusters we have makes a difference out here. I'm not sure. Look at all of them coming after me. And one of them just vanished. So, um... What we need to do here is, uh, next is, uh, visit, um, the Spothy. See if we can make an alliance with them. Whee! Nope, 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 nope. Going too far. There we go. Going too fast, I should say. Come here, Earth. Where are you? There we go. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Thank you. All right, Starbase Command. Greetings, Captain. I'm ready to assist you. Thank you. I have uh, minerals to offload. Optimal. Fine job, Captain. Excellent. Can your scientists analyze what I have acquired since my last visit? The analysis reads as follows. Subject, clear spindle device. Data. The object in question has no clear use or means of activation, but does have superconductive characteristics between 18 and 22 degrees centigrade. Sweet. We suspect that it is a precursor manufacturer, Excellent. but we cannot be certain without extended study. Summary, in all likelihood, this object is part of a larger device whose capabilities remain unknown. That's well, the end of our scientist well, I report. I guess that means that we're going to have to go find the rest of the device, huh? Figures. All right. Um, Certainly, Captain. What do you need to know? Let's see. Uh, did he say any? No, he didn't. Fine. Is there anything else you need? I remember him uh, mentioning that there was a. Uh, I, I think he's mentioned that. Try that to avoid getting got gruesomely a, uh, killed, um, Captain. A message from. Uh, oops. Yes, Captain. Didn't need to come back in. Bring back lots of. I think he mentioned a. Uh, um, he already mentioned a uh, distress signal, so uh, we'll probably uh, visit that next. Uh, let's see. I've got some uh, resource units, but I probably am not going to want to do a whole lot just yet. Um, thinking to see if I need anything else. No, I do need to refuel. Onto that. Okay, shipyard. I do need to get some more crew. Alrighty. Alright, so we can't make, uh, I thought we could make the Kunk Cruisers, but I guess we, we need some more time. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and exit the menu. Go ahead and depart Starbase, and we'll go ahead and go to the star map. Okay, so first of all, let's see what we have up in this, uh, yeah, there's Rigel. We'll go there. It's not too far, and it's on our way to Spothy Space. It's like a Spelljammer Crystal Sphere. Wee! Uh, uh, you're going in the wrong direction. 
I guess it doesn't really matter since we're going to enter hyperspace. I do find that amusing that uh, you just go in the straight, dire straight direction from where you uh, last were. Hi Sirius, bye Sirius. Alrighty, coming up on uh, Rigel now. Uh, not a whole lot here, but let's uh, let's go ahead and see if there's anything anything interesting on these moons here. If I can navigate to it, I'm pretty bad at navigating. Oh, hello, little ship. Let's see if it's aggressive. Let's converse. Attention, Starship. We are the Stockpot Pit. I love these guys. Make no hostile actions. Okay. We come in peace and with goodwill. Okay. But if you make one false move, you're vapor. Well, that Don't sounds worry. like threatening. My companion is just a bit nervous. No, I'm not. And argumentative. <laughs> no, I'm not. We are a scout vessel dispatched from our home world. We have traveled far through hostile, uncharted space to find you. Me. We hail from the Green Dwarf Star at coordinate there far. Aha! Pahoy hoy! No, you idiot! In their coordinate system. Oh, uh, <clears throat> coordinates 400.0 by 543.7. Well, that's convenient. Thank you for con for translating that for me. Uh. Silence, blathering toadies! We are your new masters now. Um, we are the new Alliance of Free Stars flagship, Dragonia from Earth. What are your intentions? Hooray! That we finally found our saviors. Oh, I'm glad you Maybe. were looking for us. At last, our search is over. It is just as the great crystal ones promised. Crystal ones. They look sneaky. I hey. think they're lying. Hey. Can't you see our nightmare is over? Yeah, listen this to the ship is one. from the great Crystal One's fabled alliance, the Alliance of Three Stars. Maybe. I wonder if they're uh, talking about the uh, um, Chenjisu. Um, before we go on, can you tell us more about your species? In our ancient past, four species evolved oh, intelligence on our homeworld. Simultaneously. That's pretty impressive, That's actually. Rock. The Fox, the Pick, and the Zabranky. We three, the Zoc, Fox, and Pick, evolved in such a way as to acquire sustenance from many sources. From airborne double plankton, from solar and ambient energy, and from rocky fungal clingers. Mm, Our fungal favorite. Clingers. The Zabranky also consumed a variety of foods, namely the Zoc, the Fox, and the Pick. That doesn't sound good for you guys. The Zabranki, we banded together, annihilated the Zabranki, and formed Genocide? a collaborative union you now encounter. I don't know how we could make an alliance with you. What do you seek from us? We are a relatively peaceful group of species. Unless we're angry. So, we find you ourselves... You get angry a lot there, help. blue guy, don't you? We only need a little. Because of our desperate situation. Desperate is too strong a word. I think troublesome is more like it. Hmm. What nightmare are you talking about? What's the matter? Our planets are under attack from an invading horde. We do not know who they are they or the why one? they are here. We are being blown to bits. Fleets of alien ships appear out of nowhere, then unleash terrible destructive energy. That does sound like the Iroquois. Fortunately, well, usually they, they talk to you first. On each other. Oh. Unfortunately, hmm. they favor combat near strong gravity wells. Their stray shots regularly strike the surface of our planet. Oh, that sounds bad. Tragic result. Yeah, Fortunately, I can see how that would be tragic. They have never found our homeworld, only our colony planet. That's good. Unfortunately, all of our colonies have oh. perished as a consequence. You guys are uh, suffering a population crisis, then, huh? Um, hey, space is a tough place where wimps eat flamey plasma death. No. Um. I should have asked which one was a fog. Dang it. Um, who is attacking you? What do they look like? Some of the vessels are huge green battleships. Yeah, it sounds like, like the Iroquois. Wave after wave of small fighters. 
definitely the, the other Earth. ships are black in space, and their hulls are carved with strange alien I don't know those guys. I haven't met in them yet. In combat, the two ships seem evenly matched. One fires blasts of fusion energy, while the other launches spinning projectiles. Hmm. I don't know, I'll be honest, spinning projectiles don't seem all that useful in space. Just saying. Well, uh, we want to help. What can we do? These are the words we have prayed for. Hey! You can make Chris me your new god if you want. After all. More than anything, we seek an ally to help us survive in this hostile universe. Well, that's what we're here for. We're having some problems of that general nature. Uh huh. But we are only emissaries. Uh. You must meet with our leaders. Okay. They are wiser, more powerful beings. They look just like us, though. How can we tell them? star called Alpha Tukane. The planet closest to the sun is our I think home. that the Pukunk would live and if there. If possible, hurry! Okay, I will see what I can do. I make no promises. Alright, well, there's nothing on that world. That's just a gas giant. Uh, I think they're heading home. That is the Zok, the Fought, and the Pick. I love those guys. Uh, incidentally, for uh, the D&D fans out there... Um, the artwork was uh, done by uh, Errol Otis, very well known for his uh, early D&D, uh, &D, particularly in first edition uh, artwork. Well, and, and original D&D, but did a lot of stuff for uh, AD&D first edition. All right, Red Moons, anything interesting? Let's go ahead and auto-scan. Uh, well, that looks like a worthless world. Okay. A dust world. Yeah. Another worthless. Hey, you think Roger would have more stuff? Alrighty. Oh, another dust world. Yeah, not much there. I don't think anything there is worthwhile. Uh, one thing that I forgot is that uh, the amount of fuel you use to land, someone uh, corrected me in the comment, is uh, based on the gravity. So uh, actually landing on these moons wouldn't take that much, but uh, yeah, there's just nothing on those that's worthwhile. Even that little bit of stuff isn't worthwhile. I think it's just level 1 stuff. Auto scan, Noble World. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Vacuum, temperature is cold, class 3 tectonics. Uh, let's go ahead and exit menu and save it real fast, though. Alrighty. Let's go over here. Leave me alone, earthquakes. I don't want to play with you. Nope. Oh, good. Got away from that one. Uh oh. Seven right on. I think I might have just enough space to get like, Yeah, not that. That's good. Might as well fill up. Alright. Well, it was uh not too bad. A little little bit worthwhile. And anything on this little uh purple world that I just missed. Ooh, that's awfully purple. Let's see. Purple world. Um, Not a whole lot. Class 2 tectonics. I guess we'll go ahead and land there. I think this is level 3 stuff, so it's not too bad. Cadmium, uranium... Yeah. 
There isn't much in the way of uh, earthquakes, so that's good. Um, that's gonna be it, I think. Yep. Alright. Good enough. Alright, on the star map. Ah! There's a uh, Zokfot space up, all the way up here. We are not gonna go there just yet. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, I could technically get. Oh, not quite. I can't quite see the. Uh... Yeah, okay, there is. The border is like just right around there. Not gonna do that, of course. Alright, um. So let's see if there's. Uh... Anything interesting uh, to visit before we get there? I guess there's some worlds all the way over here. That's pretty good. No, not that one. Oh, uh, let's see. This is well into, uh, um, Ilroth space. Well, not well into it, but, uh, there's some pretty decent stuff there, it looks like. So, uh, might as well go. We've got plenty of fuel. Whee! I turned up the, uh, audio on the, uh, uh, speech a little bit since it seemed a little bit quiet compared to me. I'll have to check how that came out. All right, no Elroth, please. I don't want to. I, I don't. I don't want to say hi to you. Leave me alone. I do think that I could take him with the uh, uh, my Spothy ship, though. I see someone up there. Alrighty. Let's see, what worlds do we have? Is a gas giant here? Are there any moons? There are some. That could be a treasure planet there. Ah, looks good. Auto scan, class 2 tectonics. Oh, good. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and dispatch. Uh, we shall start over here. Iridium. Lots of iridium, it looks like. Oh, wow. We are, uh, full already. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, dispatch again. Maybe I should have gone for one of the small nodes first. Nah. 14 seems about normal. Might have missed out on a couple points, but, eh. And I can get one more, so let's go all the way over here to this one. All right. Hmm. Now this is going to be valuable. Good stuff to get here. Palladium, gold, and last but not least, more palladium. All right. Three trips. Nice. Not too bad. Um, let's go ahead. Exit menu, navigate, and this could be a noble world down here, so that would be more uh, good uh, resources. It is, in fact, a noble world. Class 3 tectonics. Let's see. Um, I noticed that the other one had uh, um, the, the uh, helium was... Uh, Common minerals, I think. <clears throat> oh god. I should have saved first. Oh well. Unfortunately, there's no way to. Oh, yeah, there's no way to back up. You'd think the lander would have a, a reverse option, but nope. No reverse option. And there's enough for another trip, it looks like. 
Sorry, guys, you died. And one more node. There we go. Alrighty. Um, where to now? Another blue world over there. And then that green one. Take a look at those. Get some more resources. There's a uh, there is a way to get a lot of money in this game, uh, resource units. Um, and I will probably take advantage of that. Another noble world, nice. Cla still class three tectonics though. Don't like that. I do see some common elements, so I will probably try to avoid that. There is common. I think that's common. I think that's it. I'm not gonna bother picking up the common. It just takes up space in our uh, um, holds that I could uh, give to other stuff. All right. What else do we have? There was that green world up. Uh, other side of the uh, star. Go visit that one, and we'll see what's in the uh, outer regions. So much thrust. I think I might have put too much on, but that's useful for combat. It is very, very useful for combat. Ooh, an emerald world. Nice. Class two tectonics. Oh, that is nice. Yes, dispatch. And if we pick up both of these big nodes and then one of the small nodes, probably, uh... 17 agouti nodes. Uh, let's go down and get this one. Antimatter? Well, I could definitely get another small one at least. Yep. And we'll make another trip. Oh, this is good stuff. Very valuable. Hey, I actually got it straight for once. And that's it. All right. That'll be very valuable. What do we have right now? 91 uh, exotics. Very nice. And 150 precious. Uh, 161 noble gas. Yeah, 11 common. Excuse me. If we uh, run low on space, I'll uh, definitely ditch those first. Alright. Let's see. There were a couple other... Uh, I think primarily over here. Is it just the one? Nope, there's two. Alright. Oh, one, uh, one thing that uh, should show up now. Let's see. Is it right up around here? No. Is it this? No. What is it? There should be something that shows up around here. Unknown! Yes, we are going to want to visit that at some point. Not right now, though. Radioactive world? Very nice. Class 3 tectonics? And yeah, we'll just go right here. Get in my cargo hold. 
And thorium. I think we have space for one more node. There we go. This might take three trips. Protactium? Some of the names on these are, uh, very odd. Hint, they're not real. Ah, I was hoping to get close. Oh god. It's worse when it just, like, lands you right on an earthquake. That's always, that's always fun. There we go. Cleaned that world off, and there's one more to visit down here somewhere. I'm actually not sure how you know about the uh, unknown thing. I'm not sure if they ever, if it ever gets mentioned or anything. Oh, that looks like a crappy world. That is a crappy world. Alright, star map time. There is another world. Uh, it's not too bad. Let's see. Of course, this is even deeper into uh, Ilroth space, but uh, we'll go. And off we go. I definitely want lots and lots of resources. Hopefully I won't get into combat, but the Spothy aren't too bad against uh, the Ilroth. They're, uh, they're faster, and um, they've got the, uh, the rear-firing torpedo, which is very, very handy. Very, very handy. I think I might get stuck into a battle with them when I get out of this uh, solar system, though. fluorescent world. Actually, I might be able to do something about that. Class 4 tectonics, so. Hmm. Let's go ahead and save the game. Now yeah, we just save it over that one. I think that's a radioactive. So that's good. I think we'll clear out this, uh, this world, and then, uh, um... Oh god. Alright, I'm full. Alright, the uh, tectonics aren't too bad. That's good. This is costing quite a bit of fuel. Probably good enough. I'll leave the other four. Alright, what other worlds are there here? What do we can mine for good stuff. Uh, there's a green one over here. And what is it? Ooh! Emerald World. Nice. Very, very nice. Class 1 Tectonics. Good. Excellent. I like Class 1 Tectonics. Sixteen. I think we'll leave the 
the rest will come back and get the uh, them on another trip. Uh, I don't want to risk filling up my cargo hold. Missing some of these since they're so valuable. 18. 18. And we'll get one of these little ones. I shall go all the way over and get this little one all the way over here. Since I'll have to go all the way over here at some point anyway. There we go. Mmm, Emerald World. So good. Eleven. And seventeen. There we go. Alright, what, uh... What other, uh, worlds are there that we can mine? Anything good? There's a yellow one up here. Probably a Urea world or something. Doesn't look like quite the right color for a treasure world. Uh, Auric world. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Class 2 weather. Let's go ahead and save the game. Save it over that one. Oops. Okay, I didn't quite get far enough away from the, uh, the world. <laughs> Auto scan again, and we'll land and get some great valuables. Ah! That was the wrong button. That was a waste of fuel. I didn't think the space bar would do that. I bumped it. 20 gold. That's full up. They we're using up a lot of fuel on this trip. Hope we're, hope we're gonna have enough to get to uh, Spothy Space and back. Let's go after this little one over here. So many precious mi minerals. Uh, we gotta make another trip anyway, so... Uh... There we go. So much gold. Hmm. What do we have now in our uh, cargo manifest? Excellent, we got uh, 244 radioactives, and we never picked up any corrosives. The corrosives and the radioactives tend to uh, give me some visual trouble. I uh, got 333 precious. Nice. Uh, let's see. What other worlds are there? Anything good? There's a little one that I'm gonna just blow right by, of course. Because uh, navigating this ship is uh, not my forte. Acid world. That is nothing good. There are biologicals, though, but uh, with class 3 weather and class 3 tectonics, I don't think I want to mess with that. Probably this is a Urea world. No, another treasure world. Wow. Two treasure worlds? Oh, this is a great place to, uh... To visit. I wasn't expecting quite so many good worlds to, uh... Clean out. Of 
course, this is taking a whole lot of fuel. Get one more little one. Glad these treasure worlds are so peaceful. And there we go. Might have to make take another trip. Yep, another trip. Wow. Blowing through so much fuel getting all this stuff. Alright. I can't believe that there were two uh, treasure worlds here. That looks like a noble world. No, Azure world. Um... Not much good. There's some biologicals, but class 6 tectonics. Not going to uh, mess with that one. What do we have here? Uh, it doesn't look good. Acid wound. Well, class 4 tectonics. Are there any biologicals? Nope. No biologicals. That's just common stuff. All right. Oh, we're pretty full up on, uh, our, uh, um, cargo anyway. I'm, I'm amazed. Well, I was planning on visiting the Spothy, but I might not. I might not have the space, because there's some stuff to, uh, get from their space as well. Uh, from worlds near them, I should say. There's nothing good there. You would think that a, an organic world would have life forms, but nope. Alright, there's I think two... Oh no, there's a gas giant that I haven't been to over there. Oops. There we go. Another organic world. Class 4 tectonics. Any biologicals? No. Alright, well, nothing interesting there. What about down here on this purple world? And we'll check that last gas giant. Then we'll end the episode. Because my timer went off quite a while ago. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything good on this one. Nope. It does take a lot of time to uh, mine all these uh, resources, though. Two greens and a blue, light blue and dark blue. Probably nothing good. Cyanic world, no minerals. Any life forms? Nope. Azure world, probably nothing good. Class 6 tectonics. There are life forms, but I am not going to mess with class 6 tectonics. No way. The copper world. No minerals on the copper world. Really? That's just weird. You'd think there'd be minerals on the copper world. Just saying. Is there anything on this one? What is green again? 
There's class 4 tectonics. Let's, uh... Manifest. Green is rare earths. Uh, I've got 193 cargo space available, so it's probably going to be worthwhile. Make another quick save. Let's go grab these rare earths first. Ah, lost a couple people. I think we can get that last rare earth and maybe the uh, noble. Yep, there we go. Good enough. Lost two people, but that's a, that's a, the price to pay. Um. I think that's pretty much it. Was there one other world, one tiny world, or was that just a star that was uh, on the map? Did I visit that one? Yeah, I think that's another world over there. Yes, it is. Did I visit this one? I can't remember. I guess we'll find out. Purple world, purple world. Doesn't look like there's anything worthwhile though. Now, all right. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, end the episode here. And in the next one, I'm gonna quickly run back to um, uh, Earth and uh, offload minerals. And in the next episode, we will. Uh, I will be back at Earth after having offloaded and, uh, or before I offload actually. And uh, we will. Um, Go to Spothy Space from there. See you then.